Hey, I'm Justin, VP of Sales here at Sunflare. We're here at SPI 2019, building on the momentum and the success that we had last year. Let's go look at our new products. So last year we launched our flagship product, Flex 60. And we've taken that product and through product innovation adapted it for more applications. Where can we use this product, Josh? Light Mount 60 is going to be a great product application for load constrained metal roofs. It's 15 and a half pounds and installs at under one pound per square foot for the total installation. So this product's going to open up new markets where you weren't able to put solar before due to the load constraint of the building itself. Gotcha. And then in terms of like mounting, where, where, where do I get the mounting hardware? It's going to use standard off-the-shelf mounting from S5 with our adapted clip that's 20 millimeters to align with our 20 millimeter frame. And this is going to be a great solution for any metal roof profile, but specifically, it's going to target that agriculture industry right. where they have a lot of load constraint and metal roofing that's going to work great with our under one pound per square foot installed solution. Right. And because Flex 60 was a SIGS module, it had pretty cool benefits. Does this module have the same benefits? Yeah, it's the exact same module. So it's the same 60 cell module with bypass diodes between each cell. It's going to have an improved temperature coefficient compared to a silicon counterpart and has great low light capture ability. And so you're going to get more kilowatt hours for every watt installed and you're going to be able to use it in places you weren't able to use before. From anywhere where the building construction uh, puts Puts, puts a limitation on the weight you can put on top of that building. We're going to be the ideal solution. So now I'd like to introduce you to Brett Jarman. He's our VP of Business Development and he's been leading the effort to figure out where we can deploy our modules. What are some of the applications that we've been working on, Brett? So we've been talking to developers all over the country that develop solar projects on landfills. One of the things that we hear time and time again, they're frustrated with the fact that about 60% of the available land for them to use in their development is wasted because the incline is too steep. It can't handle traditional racking. The fact that there's the landfill is closed at different points in time, the waste matrix inside is different. There's uneven settling and it's really just not conducive for a silicon module, especially one that's covered in glass. But you take that same application covered in a high density polyethylene cap sheet, laminate a sun flare module right onto the face of it and immediately, without waiting for 10 years for the settling to occur, we're able to not only help the landfill owner in their closure mechanism and in, in, in capping their landfill, but immediately we're putting high quality energy producing sun flare modules right on the cap sheet and solving a problem. Sounds like we're opening up new markets for EPCs and developers, or making markets more easily accessible. Yeah, you know, any, anyone can put a, a module on the top of a landfill in a, in a ground-mounted scenario. And, and in fact, one of the beauties of the SunFlare product is the fact that the voltages are the same, we use the same inverters. You can actually have a racked system on the top of a landfill, say, done 10 years ago. With, a, with an off-taker who wants to increase the energy production off of an old installation, run a cap sheet on the outside, install the sun flare modules, and it'll integrate seamlessly with the development as it's already been built. Right, right. Hard at work. I love it. You bet. We're here at SPI 2019 and we had another great show. One of the products people really, really love is the development and what we're doing with our residential roof shingle. So Christine Bevilacqua is here with us. She's one of our lead sales associates. Christine, what are, what are people saying to, as you talk to people in the show? What are people talking about with our shingle? Right, so they're really excited. When we talked to construction guys and home builders, they said a priority for them was that the solar construction material was not just a solar panel that looks like a shingle, right? They wanted an actual shingle to act as a construction material, and that's what we have here. So for example, this panel extends all the way under with the same butyl adhesive used for the shingle. So total weatherization, exactly the same as you would with the shingle. So it's like a, it's like a same peel and stick, uh, sh just like the asphalt shingles, a peel and stick and then it gets nailed in the back. So the shingle, our shingle also nails in the back. Right, 
easy installation, the installers are familiar with the method, it's going to be quick and easy for them just the way the shingle is. So rather than a solar panel that's trying to masquerade as a shingle, what we're really doing is creating a construction material, a, a roofing shingle that's performing all the functions of the solar panel. Exactly. Thanks Christine, you've been great. Hey, it was a wonderful year here at SPI 2019, building off of all the success that we've had. You are going to want to keep an eye out for this product right here because we're going to change the world. Thanks for everything. Come to sunflaresolar.com. You want to know more? So that's it for our product lineup. If you're an EPC or an installer and you've seen products here that you think can add value or open up new markets for you, feel free to reach out to us. Or if you're a building owner and you're concerned about the weight of traditional solar on your rooftop, let us know and we can definitely help you. That's it for SPI 2019. This is Justin, signing off.